Alozena and Lush Soldier, the top two, separated by a head at the quarter pole. Zinda and Wonder again in striking position, although Wonder again is looking toward the inside. May find an opening there into the stretch. It is Lush Soldier with a short lead. Zenda, Wonder again, Alizena, Risk Averse, and Mega Hertz in behind that wall. It's wide open. Six of them with a shot in the final furlong. Risk Averse coming forward along with Zenda. Zenda short lead. Risk Averse is right alongside. Down to these two at the line. Zenda, Risk Averse gets her by a nose on the line. And they're off. Wonder again gets off to a good start. So too Sundrop and Sand Springs. Risk averse on the far outside. Toward the inside, Loon Dior and Secret Charm at the fence. So they make their way toward the first turn. Sand Springs will be the early leader. Sand Springs in front. Risk averse on the outside. Secret Charm at the rail. Loon Dior in between those two. Filmmaker in behind that group. There's room at the inside for Wonder again. That one's followed closely by Sundrop, Filmmaker, Elorienda and the trailer is Angara. Around the first turn, and Sand Springs very keen to go on with early, early here. Sand Springs dashes away from risk averse by three. The opening quarter was up in 24 and three fifth seconds. Sand Spring continues to bowl along and opens up a four length lead here on risk averse running second by two. Then Mel Orienda, filmmaker, and Lundor all together, third, fourth, and fifth. Wonder again in behind that grouping, drafting nicely in behind horses. Sun Drop, Secret Charm, and Angara. Up the back stretch, and they did pick up that tempo there. The half went in 48 and two fifth seconds. Up top, it is Sand Springs, the leader. By three and a half lengths now, Melor Ayenda moves to second as they hit the half mile pole. Down on the inside, risk averse, still moving well while third. And then it's Sundrop running in fourth, followed by Wonder again, who's only about four and a half lengths from the lead. And Gara's moving on the far outside. Filmmaker between horses, Loon Door, three lengths back to Secret Charm, three quarters and 12 and one. Coming to the top of the stretch. Now it's Sand Springs by a length. Milor Ayenda poised in second. Risk averse just in behind them, down toward the hedge. Sundrop ready to roll now on the far outside. They're in entering the final furlong, and it is still Sand Springs in front. Here comes Sundrop, charging hot on the outside. Risk Risk Averse has running room now, and here she comes once again to try to win the Flower Bowl, but here's Wonder again on the outside. It's Risk Averse and Wonder again. Risk Averse and Wonder again. Here's the wire. Too close to call. Their noses were up and down. Risk Averse and Wonder again. They were right there together at the finish. Filmmaker was third and Sand Springs was fourth. Wow, in the 28th running of the Grade 1 Flower Bowl Invitational, you just saw it live from Belmont Park right here on TVG and FSN right here in Southern California. We're based at Oak Tree, and this race came down to would Jerry Bailey, the Hall of Fame jockey, be able to hold off the field with the speed of Sand Springs? She put in a game effort, but when it came down to money time, it was about the veteran, the nine. Risk averse, the six year old daughter of Dino Former scores for the ninth time in her 31 career starts. Oh, no, that's not I right. know, I no. want to brace you for this with this performance from the six year old daughter of Dino Former. She's royally bred, they love the turf, she's been loving it for years. She shows up again and pays $73.50 with the victory for Risk averse. Iggy, have you ever seen a runner go over $2 million in earnings and pay $73.50? I don't think I've ever that's had. That's got to be a first for me.